ADA 30, 1990-2020, Americans with Disabilities Act. Celebrate the ADA, July 26, 2020. My name is Jerry Allred. I'm actually an incomplete L1 paraplegic. I am a retired computer programmer. I was offered a job. But when I was offered the job, what I was told was, we can give you a job, but we can't offer you our security package because you're high risk. And you know, I'm thinking, I'm 22 years old, and at that time I had started road racing. I'd been playing wheelchair basketball, and I'm looking at me and thinking, why am I high risk? But that's the way it was, and this was in 1981, after the uh, Americans with Disabilities Act had helped to put it into that. You know, before ADA, I, I worked at a company on the 12th floor, I believe, and there was never mention of if there's a fire, this is evacuation plan for you. When I was even asked by someone, I said, what are you going to do if there's a fire? I said, well, I, I think I'll just find the, the biggest guy I can find and get a death grip around his neck and say, <laughs> if, if, if you live, we live. But I worked places after that that had an evacuation plan, and, and this is our plan for someone that's a wheelchair user. It doesn't matter if you're in a wheelchair, you walk with assistive device, if you're visually impaired, if you're of any race or uh, ethnicity. You know, people are people. In general, the majority of people are nice, but you know when someone treats you different because they don't see you, they see the wheelchair or the disability. So I think with, with ADA, especially in business, to, to have some kind of awareness classes of, of not just one particular disability or, or one particular difference, but, but of just being aware that people are different in a lot of ways. The obstacle can be more people's attitudes than physical barriers. National Center on Health, Physical Activity and Disability, NICPAD, www.nchpad.org.